In this video, let's look at how to create a simple bar chart using Seaborn and Python. So you know, for those of you who know a little bit about Matplotlib, Seaborn is a library built on top of Matplotlib uh, and it's a little more simpler to use. So let's first start by getting in some standard libraries, uh, which we'll need to import some data and then ultimately plot the chart. So the first library uh, I'm getting in is C uh, Pandas. The second library I'm getting in is Seaborn, which will be used for plotting the chart. And then I will use a little bit from the matplotlib library as well, and then I'll show you why that is uh, required. So once we have this, uh, let's run that. So we have all our libraries imported. The next thing is let's get some data in. Uh, now in order to get some data in, I'm going to use a specified URL location. So let me put that in here. So the URL location which I'm specifying has some CSV data in it. So we're going to be using some CSV data to plot our chart. Now I can read the data in into a variable called new data and say Okay, I'm reading in a CSV file using p.readCSV. Then I can put the URL there or the data location in this case. Now, that would have gotten me the data imported from this URL and into this variable here. Let's have a look at what's in that data. So if we just get the first three rows using new data.head, uh, we see that it has certain columns. Now, from this data, let's try to plot a simple bar chart on these two columns here, which is sex and age. Uh, before we do that, for those of you who don't know what a bar chart is, a bar chart is a chart which takes in two uh, variables. The x-axis or the y-axis, one of the axes is generally a categorical variable. So as you see in this case, uh, the, the days of the week are unique and they are categories. So one of the axes is a categorical categorical variable. And the other axis generally depicts the values corresponding to those categories. And those values are represented using bars. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and try to plot a simple bar chart, uh, you know, on Seaborn. Now, the first thing which we need to do is to plot the bar using one of the inbuilt functions of Seaborn, which is bar plot. So we specify the x-axis. In this case, let's say sex is my x-axis, and we specify the y-axis as age. Uh, we'll just say that I don't want any conference interval, and my data is from new underscore data. Now, when I run this, uh, notice that we have a simple bar chart and the bar chart has two categories, male and female, which are from the variable called sex or the data column called sex. And the Y axis is the average age of each of those genders. So in this case, the average age of male is around the 30 mark, female is around the 27 mark. That's what we have derived from this bar chart. Now, one of the things about Seaborn is that it doesn't you know, plot the text on top of the bar charts. So you don't have the values there, which makes it difficult to read at times. And this is you know, one of the issues which we generally deal with. So in order to get uh, you know, those values and plot those values, that's where we go back to matplotlib and make use of it. So let's see how you know, we can pl plot those values. So the first thing we need to do is we need to store the current axis in a variable. So the current axis is nothing but you know, this whole figure here because we want to go through each one of this to plot the uh, bars, uh, the values above the bars, sorry. So each of these bars in you know technical terms is called a patch and I'm going to run through each of these patches to see whether I can plot the values on top of the bars. So I'm going to use a for loop and I'm going to iterate through all the different patches in the bar. So in this case, we have two, so it's going to iterate two times. If you have five, it'll iterate five times. Now we need to put the text on top of the bar. 
so in order to put the text on top of the bar we can essentially specify the position or the x and y coordinates of the text and then the required format setting so let's you know go ahead and do that so the first thing i need to get is the x position so the x position is basically defined by me getting the uh, width of the bar me getting the x position and then dividing that by two so that you know i get to the center of this particular bar which is where i intend to write the value and then i can get the y coordinate by getting the height of the bar now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually plot or type the value so the value we are going to uh, type in is nothing but an integer value and the integer value is the height of the bar or the value the bar corresponds to now as i said we can specify some formatting options for the text so we can say uh, font size is 12 let's say color equal to green and then just to make sure it's correctly aligned we want to include our horizontal and vertical alignments as well and now when i run this code uh, you'll notice that okay oops i have a small error here okay let me just fix that now you'll notice that the values are successfully plotted on top of the bars so this particular methodology is always required while using seaborn to plot values now plotting values is not compulsory but it definitely makes it easier for the person looking at the bar chart to uh, see the bar and the corresponding values so that's all for how you can plot a simple bar chart using seaborn now in the next uh, you know video i'll highlight a little bit more on the variations you can get into bar plots how you can plot multiple bars uh, how you can plot horizontal bar plots and so on so if you like the video do subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll be putting out a lot of videos for you on different libraries in python uh, tips and tricks in python and so on